From your local election headquarters, election day is tomorrow. Polls open at 7 a.m. in what's commonly known as municipal election. Wide variety of seats on ballots all across the Commonwealth, including school board seats, borough, city council, and mayoral offices, just to name a few. Once again, Luzerne County getting a lot of attention because of issues with the running of recent elections. 2822 News I team reporter Andy Mahalschik working the story. Andy joins us live from Wilkesbury tonight. Andy. Well, good evening, Nick and Ken. So I'm outside the Penn Place, Luzerne County Penn Place office building. The Bureau of Elections office is located right here. And this time tomorrow, at after 8 o'clock when the polls close, those ballots will be counted. In fact, inside the lobby of the Penn Place office building is the official drop box for the mail-in ballots. That will be here until 8 o'clock tomorrow. So if you did mail out today, it may not get here by 8 o'clock tomorrow. You really have to use the drop box here uh, in the lobby of, Penn, of the Penn Place office building. It was one year ago that the if now infamous paper ballot shortage took place. But election officials tell me they've learned big lessons from that event. That was in the past, and now they say they're moving forward. So say you. So say you. I do. I do. I do. Dozens of Luzerne County election workers are sworn in Monday. They'll be involved in various aspects of the election process. As they were being sworn in, voters were dropping their mail-in ballots into a drop box in the lobby of Penn Place. Other voters will head to the polls Tuesday for in-person voting. County officials say they understand they are still working to regain the trust and confidence of voters. Well, uh, we obviously have worked very hard uh, to make sure that tomorrow goes smoothly. Uh, we've also worked very hard uh, to make sure that if there are issues that come up, that we have plans in place to address them immediately. County Manager Milda Krokomo says those plans include notifying the public if any issues do arise. I can tell you if there are problems, I will uh, immediately notify the press uh, and so that voters know what the other plans are. Erin Harvey is the director of the Election Bureau. She says some voters will see a change when they sign in to vote at their polling place. We decided to do a pilot program for new electronic poll books. We have about 30 precincts out of the 186 that will have them this election, um, and the rest of the voters will be checked in on paper, um, and hopefully it goes well. Paul Brannigan says he has been watching the recent problems in Luzerne County and wants to be part of the solution. You know, you get to a certain point and every vote matters and stuff, and I just want to be a part of the process. So do voters have confidence in the process here in Luzerne County? Some of the things are just administrative, you know, misjudgments. You know, I think the paper issues in the last election, something like that. I mean, it's, it's stuff you just can't, you know, foresee happening. Are you hopeful tomorrow goes off pretty smoothly? I'm confident it will, really. I mean, everybody makes mistakes. Now we have lots more information that voters need to know before going to the polls tomorrow. Also about mail-in ballots, not only here in Luzerne County, but all across Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. We have that information, various links on our website, pahomepage.com. Back to you. An important day locally for sure tomorrow. Thanks, Sandy.